Working with C waves, we usually know the main design parameters at the location of interest. For example, water depth, wave height, and the wave period. Depending on the problem, we need to answer various questions. For example, what is the wavelength? What is the speed? No matter what the problem is, you always need to calculate the wavelengths. In this example, we calculate the wavelengths and speed for three different depths, 60, 20, and 0.9 meters. We need to calculate the wavelengths and the wave speed. In this problem, we need to calculate the wavelengths and wave speed for waves with period 8 seconds in three different water depths, 60 meters, 20 meters, and 0.9 meters. We first start with method. Depending on the wave type, we use different equations to calculate wavelengths and wave speed. There are three types of waves, deep waves. Deep waves are defined when the ratio of water depths divided by wavelengths is greater or equal than 0.5. And for these conditions, we have equations where both wavelengths and wave speed only depend on the wave period. T is the wave period. We have shallow waves when this ratio less than equal 0.05. And in this option, we use the following equations where the wavelengths depends on both water depth and wave period and the wave speed only depends on the water depth. And finally, we have intermediate waves. And intermediate waves are defined when the ratio of water depth to wavelengths is between 0 0.05 and 0 0.5. And in this case, we use the following two equations. You can see, for example, in wavelengths, we have wavelengths on both sides of this equation, so to solve this equation, we need to use iteration. Let's start solving our problem. The procedure we use to calculate wavelengths is as follows. We start with using the deep wave equation. Then we calculate the ratio of depths divided by wavelengths. And if it's greater or equal than 0.5, we adopt the calculated wavelengths. If the ratio is between 0 0.05 and 0 0.5, then we need to solve full equation. And this is solved by iteration or trial and error method. And finally, if the ratio is less than 0 0.05, we use the shallow wave equation to calculate the wave lengths. We start with depth 60 meters. We calculate the wave lengths, and this is 100 meters. The ratio of water depth to wavelength is 0.6. And this is greater than 0.5, therefore we have deep water waves. And we calculate the wave speed uh, to be 12.5 meters per second, because we adopt the wavelengths from the deep water waves equation. The second water depth is 20 meters. Again, we start with the deep wave length, which is 100 meters from previous slide. And then we calculate the ratio of water depth by wave length. And this is 0.2. We compare this ratio with the values we have, 0 0.05 and 0.5. And you can see 0.2 is between those two values. Therefore, we have intermediate water waves. And we solve the full wavelength equation by iteration. For example, using solver function in Excel. Below the video, I will post the link how to use solver function in Excel to calculate the wavelengths. Calculating the wavelengths, we obtain 89 meters and wave speed also we use full equation that we don't need to use iteration here and we obtain wave speed as 11.1 meter per second 
And for final value of water depth, which is 0.9, we start again with deep water waves value, 100 meters. Then we calculate the ratio uh, of water depth divided by wave length, and this is 0 0.009, which is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we have shallow water waves, and we use equations for wave length and wave speed which are for shallow water conditions. And we have wavelengths 24 meters and wave speed is 2.97 meters per second. Our results are 60 meters deep wave, 20 meters intermediate wave, and 0.9 meters shallow waves. You can see that with reduction in water depths, both wavelengths and wave speed reduce. And this is called the wave compression. You can see that the wave compresses both wavelengths and the wave speed decrease as it travels into shoreline. Both values of wavelengths and wave speed reduce with reduction in water depths. Reduction in wave speed with decreasing depths has nothing to do with bottom friction effects. The speed reduction comes directly from the dispersion equation. This is our dispersion equation. And if we substitute full equations for the wave circular frequency, which is 2 pi divided by wave period, and for wave number 2 pi divided by wave length, we modify the equation. And from this equation, we have the wavelength equation, which is our full equation. And therefore, with reduction in water depth, the wave speed is reducing. And this follows from the dispersion equation, which is shown schematically on this diagram.